I'm Woody Cross. I'm an orthopedic trauma surgeon here at Mayo Clinic and specialize in orthopedic trauma, which involves everything from open fractures from the foot uh, up to the upper extremity. I'm here today to visit about open fractures, talk about the highlights of care, the echelon or the order of treatment that needs to be done when patients present with open fractures, and our ultimate goals in treating the patients, and some of our projected outcomes and complications that may present along the way. At Mayo Clinic, we see probably uh, a few open fractures a week, depending on the season and the sports. We uh, usually become involved as soon as they come to the emergency department when they're evaluated by the trauma service. They'll consult the orthopedic trauma team and we'll evaluate the patient. And the number one thing that we do is ensure that the patient receives IV antibiotics as soon as possible. So usually that's within 30 minutes or one hour of, of arriving in our facility. We try and get those IV antibiotics on board. The next step is to perform some type of urgent irrigation and debridement to the fracture, which is usually something in the operating room. And we try and get to the operating room as soon as possible, typically that night if possible. If not, we do it first thing in the morning if it comes in at night. Uh, when in the operating room, we like to get rid of all the dirt and debris, uh, clean out the fracture margins, and most often, uh, if it's possible, we'll provide some type of definitive management that night, but sometimes for the more severe open fractures, we need to stage out their management, which is the initial irrigation, debridement, and antibiotics, then perform a uh, provision or a uh, stage one management, which is usually an external fixation, uh, and then come back at a later date to do the final procedure. After the definitive procedure is done, uh, then becomes the long, sometimes long protracted post-op course, which involves rehabilitation, ensuring that the bone heals, a uh, variety of different uh, modalities to try and get it healed if it's a delayed union. So some of the, the advantages of Mayo Clinic's uh, trauma service and the orthopedic trauma service is we have, uh, we have a fully staffed OR. It's available 24 hours a day for these types of emergencies. We have specific trauma-trained physicians who are uh, very adept and specifically trained to handle real complex open fractures. Other advantages we have here are a multi-modality uh, uh, care team which involves bone health specialists to look for non-unions. We have trauma team and uh, the uh, uh, general surgery trauma teams who are adept at handling the patients with multi-system injuries. And then we have again our orthopedic trauma surgeons which specifically concentrate on the high energy uh, orthopedic trauma. Post-operatively, we have uh, uh, an important team member, uh, multi-care focus. We concentrate on, uh, again, bone health, making sure that the patient's physiologic reserves are optimized, which includes nutrition, calcium and vitamin D metabolism, and then sometimes as open fractures are often fraught with complications such as delayed unions or non-unions, we have a nicotine dependency center here, which I utilize on all my patients that have the use tobacco products to try and get them to undergo some type of smoking cessation at the time of discharge. And I usually, in the hospital, try and have that team visit with the patient to uh, engage them early to try and get them to uh, uh, undergo smoking cessation. Sure. When, every time we have trauma patients, there's a lot of different teams involved. The orthopedic trauma team, the general surgery trauma team, the bone health team, sometimes the internal medicine team. So it's a multi-specialty uh, focus of care. Along with that, I try and involve the patients early in their own care, which talks about making sure that they're eating healthy, getting good protein, getting, getting well-balanced meals, and then smoking cessation. I think all of those are, are integral to that patient to be that final team member and getting their fracture to heal. And again, looking at all the orthopedic literature, there's a lot of data that shows that patient involvement and family support are integral to optimizing that patient's outcome long-term.